Seek out the celebrities in your lives. Seek out the celebrities in your own lives. This is what I mean by that. I feel like uh, many people get caught up in those individuals who they see uh, with these verified accounts on social media or people who uh, they know from movies or they know from music or they know from television and, and they uh, aspire to be these people. They aspire to be who they think these people are while shunning or ignoring the celebrities in their own life, the celebrities in their own uh, uh, locality, who are, and these people are more accessible. And you can verify whether or not these people are, are authentic. Because see, this is the thing about celebrities that you see uh, uh, in the sports world, or in music, on, in TV, or film, or on social media. You won't have access to these motherfuckers. You don't. You know what I'm saying? So whatever they're uh, putting out there, whatever they're putting out to the public, whatever they're portraying, you really don't have a, a, a way of knowing is this real shit or bullshit. You understand? Let me give you a perfect example. Uh, Y'all have seen it online, uh, one of the uh, biggest hashtags is relationship goals. You know what I'm saying? That people look at these uh, motherfuckers on the internet, whether it be some uh, a YouTube couple, or whether it be uh, somebody like Will and Jada, or, or Hov and Beyonce, or whoever the case is, and they say relationship goals, right? So, you, so you're looking at these motherfuckers and you're aspiring to be what they're, what they're uh, uh, putting out there. You know what I'm saying? So Valentine's Day, they posting their pictures and you're like, oh, I need me somebody like that. Or uh, whenever they go out on a nice date and you still, you, I need somebody like that. Or the woman might take, uh, tweet out something about how she treats her man and the man like, yeah, see, I need somebody to hold me down like that. But your ass don't know the inner workings of that relationship. So that's why people are so shocked when you have situations like a Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know, it wasn't shocking that a man would cheat on his wife. That shit happened all the time. It was shocking because that's not what we see uh, uh, them portray. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we see them portray in their marriage that they give to us. You know what I'm talking about? Or in the music. All right? Or give you another know, Will and Jada. Perfect example. Motherfuckers been holding Will and Jada up on a pedestal as relationship goals. Shit, probably since they've been married. So then when Jada uh, 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 <laughs> hit us with that whole entanglement shit, motherfuckers was like, but that's because you don't have access to these people. You don't know whether that shit authentic or not, whatever they putting forth. But the people in your life, the people in your area, you have access to them. I guarantee there are some relationship goals right there where you live. It might be your grandparents who've been doing this shit 40, 50 years. It might be your, your partner's uh, uh, grandparents or their parents or your parents. It might be some uh, 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 a teacher in your school uh, uh, who you know been holding down their shit for a long time. You have access to them. You can really talk to them. They are tangible. You can really reach out to them and get some game on how to be like them. You understand? Know uh, whether we talking about business, you know, that's another thing. People want to aspire to be, you know, get the money that they, they see these motherfuckers out here allegedly attaining. Not knowing that a lot of these motherfuckers capped out. Especially in the music industry. You've seen countless movies. Uh, when they do these biopics and shit, when they talk about how uh, whatever artists didn't own the rights to their music and though they went broke and all that kind of shit. But on Instagram, they got big ass chain, they got big ass rain, they just got a new ride and shit like that. But you don't really know they motherfucker broke. They, they broke. Or whatever ball player you looking at, you know what I'm saying? And you hoping, hey, I wish I could do that. And you know what I'm saying? I, uh, but. Not knowing this motherfucker got three, four baby mamas and shit and having to 
spend all that money that way in child support. Or this motherfucker got a, a, a blow habit and they blowing money on that. Or this motherfucker dumb enough to have a house all over the damn country and shit. And they really broke, but you don't know that. But there's a local businessman with a corner store. And now he might not be rich, but shit, they in the American middle class. And you ignore that person. You don't go to that motherfucker and try to get uh, get some game from them and pick their brain about how they've been a successful businessman or woman in that community. You just going online and saying, I wish I could be that person. Not knowing whether that person is real or fake. Because they're not tangible. You can't touch them. Can't talk to them. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even when we talk about our heroes and shit, we ignore the celebrities in our life. You know, uh, we like to say, there ain't no more Martin Luther Kings. And there ain't no more uh, Malcolm X's and Rosa Parks and you know, Fred Hamptons and stuff like that. We, we need that kind of leadership. But... We ignore the fact that we got these people right here amongst us that were with Dr. King. That were with Malcolm X or Fred Hampton. People on the ground level that were with them back then. i give you an example. My brother told me that his uh, uncle, his older uncle, was in the church that was bombed in Birmingham, Alabama. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. The, 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 the church in which those four little girls were, were uh, gruesomely killed. He was in that church. Now, he didn't die, but he was there. That story is there for you. If you acknowledge it, you talk to him. You got people like that in your life? Where I'm from, Kenny, Mississippi, there are motherfuckers on the ground level. Here, my, where I'm from is a hotbed of activism. You know what I'm saying? Dr. King came to where I'm from. My grandmama lives. Uh, 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 my grandmama's, my grandmama's past. But my grandmama's house is on a uh, street in, in which Dr. King marched down. That's why they, they named the street after him. Uh, the, the elementary school I went to. Dr. King spoke there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't have access to him, but those people who were around him, I got access to them. You feel me? Uh, one of my heroes locally was a brother by the name of Landris Cheeks. Landris Cheeks, a real military man. And a real man just in general. Always stood tall and proud. Was very active in local politics. Would goddamn help folks get registered to vote. Uh, would drive voters to the polls on election day. Was very active uh, with the utility situation. I think he was on the board or something like that. Or uh, the motherfuckers that grant utilities. Not grant utilities. That uh, run utilities in, uh, in the city. Uh, well respected man. So much so that the post office here is named after him. A real man. And in Jackson, Mississippi, because I'm in the Jackson metro area. Legendary man, Shokwe Labumba. Now he's passed, unfortunately. But that brother was legendary. Y'all seen in the Tupac movie, if you've seen that, or if you just know about Pac, you know that Pac shot two off due to cops who were harassing a black man on the side of the road. Okay? You would and he get this shit in the south. So you would think, oh wait, he going to jail. It, it, he got off. Who was his lawyer? Shokwe Lumumba. This man was the truth. This man uh, uh, had an AAU team back in the gap. Now, if you keep up with who, you know, AAU was the big shit. AAU matter more than the, uh, the high school team. Now. It's about AAU basketball. And where I'm from here in Mississippi, uh, back then, AU basketball wasn't a big thing, you know what I'm talking about? But he had one of those first teams that was really popping off. And I've heard uh, athletes that were on his team say, shit, they, that man possibly saved their life by giving them something to do uh, 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 in the summertime. He, take, he took his own money to do something like that. This motherfucker was legendary. 
Both of those men, I had shirts made before I started my company, Statement Tee. I had my youngins at school make me some shirts with these individuals on. Cause these are heroes to me right here. You understand? One of my youngins, Malcolm Walker, just ran into the legendary James Meredith. James Meredith is still alive. You know, the first man, black man to go to Ole Miss. That man is still alive and so humble and he's accessible. He's tangible. You can really talk to him. You understand? Know these people walk amongst us, man. We got to acknowledge these folks. We got to try to pick their brain and get some game from these folks. You understand? Know One of the things that, that shit fucking hurt me to my soul was when uh, Nipsey passed away. When Nipsey was murdered. And uh, I saw one of my youngins post some shit like, you know, they don't make people like this no more. And I was taken aback by this because I'm like, shit, I was in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I taught you for 180 days. So you, you got a chance to see how I think and how I get down. But this person that you never met, you thinking that ain't nobody like him. And Nip was a real motherfucker. You know, if you keep up with me, you know I did the goddamn uh, uh, join no rip Nip, meaning no uh, rest in peace Nips. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I said I, he can't rest in peace. That motherfucker's uh, music and his interviews, just his legacy in general needs to live on. You know what I'm saying? I respect him. But what I'm talking about is there are Nipses in your fucking hood. There are Nipses in your high school. There are Nipses somewhere in your community that can give you some real game, but you gotta acknowledge them and you gotta seek them out. There are real women in your hood that will help you, that will give you some game, but you gotta acknowledge them and seek them out. If you wanna make change where you from, there are real motherfuckers right there. But you gotta get with them. Don't just be looking for uh, these Al Sharpton and these motherfuckers, the national folks, uh, to run up in that bitch and try to change shit. When, when the George Floyd shit went on and you had all those nationwide protests, there were local real ones organizing that shit. You gotta get with those brothers and sisters because there are celebrities amongst us. Real life, real deal heroes amongst us. And we gotta acknowledge them because they're tangible. Got to reach out and talk to him and touch him. Pick up the game from him. A lot of that bullshit that you seen on the internet is just that. Bullshit. I appreciate y'all fucking with me. I love y'all. As always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.